Eier Simon von Machbar. Heute geht es ein bisschen um das Thema Tennis. Wir haben hier eine Athletin, wir werden gleich anfangen, ein bisschen in Englisch zu reden. Und sie wird euch mal sehen, woher sie kommt, was sie macht. Und wir werden heute ein Training mit ihr machen, dass ihr auch mal seht, dass wir nicht nur Athleten in Deutschland betreuen, sondern auch wirklich Athleten aus anderen Ländern. Okay. Guys, I'm the American, I'm David Grant. I'm working with Simon, uh, usually with the mobility guy, but I was also at a top tennis academy in the world working on the movement of tennis players. So that is why I am in here today. I'm going to work on her movement and make sure it's as clean as, and as efficient as we want it. And now you can tell who you are, where are you from, and... Okay. Hi, my name is Lydia Marazawa. I'm from Belarus, Minsk. Uh, it's the capital of Belarus. I'm um, a professional tennis player. I'm playing tennis since I was eight. Now here, yeah, my ranking in doubles in WTA is 104 and in singles like 800. So I'm here to work out with these guys and I'm looking forward to, to a great experience. And my plans are to go to play to Budapest next week. It's ITF. It's the prize money of this tournament is $100,000. So. I'm really looking forward to a great result. Okay, so we talked a lot about this and now you're gonna see how we're gonna work, what we're gonna do and how we make her better. and I showed you how we gonna work so you can tell the people a little bit the difference between how you work out plan and what I did with you with the strength training. Um, I think it's more concentrate on my movement on the court and to strengthen my legs which will help me to move faster and to be more uh, to be more stronger on Okay. Yeah, I mean, we see it on the, on the squat when you're starting the squatting position, so we go over to the trap bar deadlift, because you don't have the uh, mobility right now to go really down on the squat, mm -hmm. but that is something you have to learn, but I think you're going to learn it. But right now nobody teach you before, that's the only thing. And I think you have a um, good opportunity to get stronger, and with this you're getting faster and better on the field. Yeah. Okay. I think Simon said it perfectly while we were training. Uh, many athletes try to add 
exercises into their program and then when we see them doing their exercises we realize that there's technique that can be improved so for us today having her one time we didn't want to add more exercises into her program we wanted to fix what she was already doing because at her size the power should be natural but we have to make sure she's taking advantage of that hundred percent naturalness of her power if you will and briefly with the tennis specific exercises what did you think of this, the breakdown of how we went over each individual move to clarify to your body how you should be moving? Um, the thing is that we, that sometimes our reflections are so like, um, they came from childhood, you know, and we learn, like keep learning, learning like not right movements, you know, even like with our arms or with our legs. So I think it's, not easy to learn, uh, study, you know, in, in my age or mm. so we first we have to think about our kids and I mean coaches they have to uh, they have to show them in the beginning how they should move or how they can play volleys or these overheads and all these uh, like small tennis movements so uh, every time you have to keep it in, the, in, in your head and if you like keep it in your head all the time, eventually your brain will start to do it right and correct. So you have to think about it all the time and in, in one month or two months or maybe yeah. one year you will get it. Yeah, right. cool. Okay, so thank you for the opportunity to work together with you. I think you get also very much uh, input from us what you can take with you and um, maybe we'll see, we will meet you again maybe you can think about the online coaching stuff because I think it's a good opportunity when you sometimes here or not that we are can work together on an online um, coaching because this is also an opportunity to get you better, faster and stronger and also healthy. Yeah, thank you. And on the last note, we're going to do this now because we've got this interview in a funny order. We're going to talk about those shoes, the heel deterioration, the obsets, whatever you want to call it being terrible, the use of the floss band and next time we see her, I promise we will see her in a flat more flat pair of shoes, and I'm sorry, Nike, <laughs> these ones gotta go. Peace. Peace.